Today's to the point topic is light burn and the cut shapes tool. I know it sounds pretty simple. You're cutting shapes, uh, but it took me a while to figure out just how powerful this tool is. And uh, we're just going to go through it today. So let's say you're making a Christmas sign to go on your porch or something and it's larger than your laser. So you want to do it in two parts. So you can use the cut shapes tool to do that. We'll grab a Santa Claus out of the art library. And this is a, uh, this art library is a free one. I've done a video on it. You can, uh, you can create it free. Uh, so I'll drop a link down in the description and you can do that if you like. We'll make this an engraving so it's easier to tell the difference. Uh, see the difference. And remember you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. And you can push down and move the entire canvas around. Uh, so cutting shapes also works with um, with with font. So let's grab uh, the text tool, and we'll just type Santa. There we go. Click the selector tool. We'll just bring it over here and set it on top. Uh, and when you're cutting shapes, whatever you're cutting has to be grouped as one object. So group those together. And then the shape you use to cut out can be any shape. Uh, but we're going to grab a square and just drag out a rectangle. Click the selector tool, make it a cut. And so you're making a sign to put on the porch. You want to get everything back together, those two pieces of wood, and make it look right. So you would select... Uh, the most logical place or visually appealing spot probably probably right there somewhere in there uh, but i want to show that it also works well with the uh, with the lettering so we'll put it there so you want to select your shape shift and select the shape you're cutting with go up to tools down to cut shapes and click cut shapes and you'll notice that a portion of it has dancing lines so at this point you could uh, depending on what you're making you could hit the delete button and get rid of it I'll control Z to bring it back uh, but if you're continuing with making your sign you can just separate it out and you could add these two shapes individually to your art library and then pull them back up cut them at any time and put them back together so to do that you would just select one shape go to your art library that's open and click import shape from project give it a name we'll just call it s2 there we go it's right over here and then we'll select this one import graphic and we'll call that s1 there we go they're in there so we could delete this just delete it all and then you can pull these back out anytime you want and put them back together cut them and you're good to go uh it took me a while to uh to realize this so i hope it's helpful to somebody i hope it's helpful to a lot of people uh so I will put links to the font as well as how to create this uh, Christmas art library down in the description. And I hope this was really helpful. And that wraps up today's To The Point Topic.